responding toward a low carbohydrate diet may be harmful to a healthy individual. Their main points were one, low carbohydrate diet caused greater health problems. Our second claim, our secondary claim, um, was the Atkins diet trend had many adverse effects associated with it. And our third claim was the outcomes of a low carbohydrate diet are very ineffective. Uh, my main claim to this is a low carbohydrate diet is healthy for an individual. Um, before I start off, here's some uh, here's some definitions um, that will be in the speech. Um, a low carbohydrate diet it usually means that a total number of calories of a person consumes each day, 25% to 35% of these calories come from protein, as opposed to, to a typical diet in which it's only about 10% to 15% um, of calories come from protein. So that's what a low carbohydrate diet is. Um, ketones, um, which is what body goes through um, or goes into metabolic st state where it burns fat for energy instead of using carbs. And glucose is the sugar that your body needs. Um, my secondary claims are the first one, the low carbohydrates cause less health problems than do high carbohydrates. Um, I'll also be talking about the Atkins diet. And my third claim is the outcomes of low carbohydrate diets are effective. The first claim, low carbohydrates um, cause less health problems than do high carbohydrates. Um, it has been studied that a high carb diet is related, has been related to breast cancer. According to lowcarb.com, um, a study of 1,866 Mexican women has found that those who obtained more than 62% of their calories from carbs were more than more than twice as likely to, to develop breast cancer compared to women whose carb intake accounted for 52% or less. Um, also, according to Moore on Dr. Moore on WebMD, which is a source that my opponent also or source site that my opponent also used, protein seemed to leave the stomach slower than carbs or fat. So a person may feel long, uh, feel fuller, longer with more protein in their diet. This allows people to not over not overeat, which can um, be unhealthy to their bodies. In a high carb diet, people tend to eat too much before they feel full. Also, according to my opponent, it also uh, states that intake of excess proteins are more prone to kidney failure, osteoporosis, and kidney stone. Whether or not this is true or not, um, there are no effective st um, statistics backing this up. The Atkins, uh, my second claim is the Atkins diet and what happens to the body during this diet. Um, my opponent also stated that high protein causes the body to go into keto um, ketosis phase. That is true. Um, the ketosis phase, according to Dr. Laura um, Dolston on about.com, this is basically when your body is using its own fat for energy. Um, ketones, also um, called ketone bodies, are molecules generated during fat metabolism, whether from this fat is from your, the guacamole you just ate or from fat you were carrying around in your middle. When our bodies are breaking down fat for energy, most of it gets converted more or less directly to ATP which is the energy molecule that our body has. Um, this shows that your body can go through this phase with food or just by the fat that you have in your body. So um, the low carb diet is not helping or increasing this to happen. Um, also, according to Dr. Laura um, Dolson, when people eat less carbohydrates, their bodies turn to fat for energy and ketones are generated. Some of these cooked ketones are used for energy. The heart and muscle kidneys are examples um, which prefer ketones over glucose. Most cells, including the brain cells, are able to use ketones for part of their energy, but there's one there's one type of ketone molecule called acetone that cannot be used and excreted as waste, mostly in the urine and breath. But this is not necessarily harmful, it's just not needed, therefore it is thrown away by the body. According to Abacus.com, there's an assumption that if the body is burning a lot of fat for energy, it must not be getting enough <coughs> glucose. However, there is no indication from studying people on reduced carbohydrate diets that this is the case. Although it's true that our bodies can't break fat down into glucose, our bodies can convert some of the protein we eat into glucose. Therefore, we are still getting glucose from another form, which our body still needs. The third point, the outcomes of low carb diets are effective. My opponent states that this diet is short-term and can be gained back quickly, 
Part of this truth is true. However, if you stick to the diet, you will not gain the weight back. Some people also want to have a quick and effective diet, and this is a great diet to try. Although in a low carbohydrate diet you miss some nutrients, you can gain them from protein. Protein is essential to keep your body active. According to lowcarbdiet.com, foods such as eggs, red meat, and cheese are great ways to maintain its nutrients. In conclusion, I'm not saying that low-carb diets are not harmful. Some low-carb diets are not all bad, just might not be suitable for everyone. Everyone's body reacts differently to diets. However, a low-carb diet does not have enough cons to completely deplete it. All right, structural stuff is fine. Uh, you spent some time defining uh, some of the key issues. I'm not sure how important that was if you thought that the advocate failed to define them adequately and it's necessary for us to be able to understand your refutation that it makes a little bit sense, uh, a little bit of sense, but I'm not sure how important uh, all of that process was later on because although ketosis comes up, uh, later on and there's some discussion of the protein effect on that um, I think it could have been summarized internally and, and you would, didn't need that extra point uh, I thought that the first point uh, is comparative but uh, for example on the first part where you're talking about breast cancer I wasn't exactly sure if that was a claim that was presented by the advocate it may have been but that part was not clear on the second part where you talk about uh, the uh, other things, you do make a specific reference to a claim that was presented by the advocate and you challenge their statistics but it seems sort of like it's a conclusionary piece of information it, and again if there's an authority on that uh, you ought to be citing that one. On, this, on the next point it sounds again mostly like an explanation of what the whole process of these um, low carb high protein diets are and again we're getting a definition of what ketosis is um, so that's why I thought it was a little redundant earlier. Um, there is a claim that says that there's no data indicating uh, any of the potential harms that the advocate is talking about and again that seems a little conclusionary and I'm not sure your source was about.com I think on that and uh, that's a pretty vague citation. I think you need to be a little bit more particular than that. Uh, the transition to the third point is very clear. I thought your analysis was uh, solid at that point. Actually, I thought the summary was really effective. Uh, if you could just work a little bit on the presentation because you are reading and rushing through the presentation and I think it undermines uh, the impact that you could be having on the audience. <laughs> 